Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed. Have I mentioned that I love this game? Because I absolutely love this game so far. We're on another mission, uh, our first one after things went terribly wrong. And we're in some sort of poetry club and we're going to speak to uh, this lady here who it turns out is a muse and Mandana actually knows her. So let's see what she's got to say. I still can't believe it. Of all the times, of all the places, you still with the Unavowed? Yes, it is good to see you again. Right back at you. You haven't changed a bit. That may be, but you have. Yeah, you could say that. I lost my power. Oh. Really? Yup. Poof. Gone. I'm not a muse anymore. Oh. How did that happen? Some lady took it. Hey, you should order a cappuccino. They draw these little heart shapes with the milk. It's amazing. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Uh, I'm Turian, by the way. Did we... Was there a point where we put our name into the game? I honestly don't remember that. Uh, so you and Mandana know each other. I, I honestly don't remember putting our name in at any point. Are you kidding? Back in Havana, she saved the entire colony. Ooh. All I did was cut a painting in half. Yeah, a cursed painting. One that I inspired the artist to paint. That was not your fault, Calliope. Tell that to the soldiers who went insane after looking at it. The creative force is powerful when used by people who don't understand it. I'm glad I'm done with it. Uh, well, if she's happy, that's the main thing, I guess. What are you doing here? It's open mic night. I'm open micing. Been spending all my time taking in the local art scenes. This is my way of giving back. Cool. Uh, you're giving back? Giving back to the creative force, trying to balance the scales. I'm not really good at it, but the point is to try. And freeform poetry is fun. Yeah, I'm Turian, by the way. Hiya, I'm Calliope. Although, I mostly go by Callie these days. Callie, okay, well, so long. Bye! Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Uh, I... For some reason, fewer people come here than they used to. So I have the place to myself! Honestly, I thought there would be more, more to that conversation. Bye! Ma Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Okay, uh, may maybe we've got to come back here later and she'll have something else to say, but um, yeah, I was expecting a little bit more out of that conversation, honestly. Um, as well, Daredevil pointed out that I keep skipping some of the inter-dialogue things. How odd. seemed so joyful. Um, and yeah, that is... This is a problem? That is something I'm trying it not to not do. It is not a problem. It is merely different. Because I like listening to these, but not act like the Calliope I knew. they do seem to sometimes not end. It's been centuries, Mandana. People change. And so I never really know when to Perhaps. leave an area. But still, it is good to see her again. So let's let it run a little bit. Because I do like to get the background. See, this one seems to have ended, but sometimes they just keep talking more and more and more. And I never really know when the conversation's over to, to head on. So uh, let's head... Could we have gone the other way there so what have we got here um we've got poetry slam uh that leads to poetry slam we've got across the street is the entrance to prospect park or we've got colorful storefronts shine at you from down the block or i guess can we go back into the station i'm not sure we can actually uh should we go down here first and then just make our way across the screen i guess so looking good there junie no not right yet. Uh, of course it isn't. <laughs> okay. So you guys do realize it's pouring with rain here, right? Little girl draws with chalk under a sheltering tree out there under the tree. <laughs> well, now don't I feel silly? Uh, so we can go into the park. Uh, do we have anything else here? The art is very promising, especially considering the age of the artist. All right, let's talk to these guys. Hey, nice to see you. I'm not the only crazy one out here tonight. <laughs> well, so that's just a bunch of crazies. Uh, we're not crazy, we just like the rain. We're not out here by choice, believe me. Uh, we just like the rain. Huh. That does make you crazy in my book. I'm only out here because the little boss here wants to draw. Okay, uh, she's your boss? She's my daughter. It amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? A boss who makes you do overtime and doesn't pay. <laughs> See, this guy gets it. You have kids? Oh, uh, yeah. Two girls. Bro now. Two bosses, huh? Must have been rough. It had its moments. <laughs> it's a full-time job being a parent. Uh, why is she drawing in the rain? What? Uh, again, with the name. I'm, I'm not sure where this has come from. Whether it's... I don't, I don't know. Has it always been there and I've just not noticed it? Little June here got inspired. What can I say? I tell her no and she screams all night. So I give her a half hour and we're both happy. 
Besides, she has a talent. I need to encourage it. Nobody else is gonna. She's a lucky little girl. You're a good mother. Darn right I am. Okay, uh, how long have you been out here? It's been two hours, I think. Uh, I'm sure June will get tired any minute. Okay. Could she use a pen and paper? <laughs> yeah, like that'll work. I know, right? A pen and paper would be, you know, logical. <laughs> yeah. And kids always listen to logic. <laughs> Don't get me started. All right. Um, I'm Turian, by the way. This is Mondana and Eli. Nice to meet you. I'm May Stein. Nice. Uh, see you around. See you around. Can we talk? If you guys want to do any more chatting in the rain, feel free. Can we talk to the kid? Uh, hi there. Junie, answer the lady. Hi. Mm, okay, what are you drawing? I don't know. It's not finished yet. Fine. The chalk won't last long in the rain. I know. That's what makes it good. I took pictures, don't worry. <sighs> what? Nothing. You don't get it. It's okay. Uh, you shouldn't talk to your mother that way. Excuse me, but I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, probably I want not. To focus, please. I wonder if this is linked to the muse in some way. Wouldn't you rather draw inside? No, this is better. Better? Yes. Uh, seriously, you should go home. Come back when it's dry. Now, let's just Bye. leave this for now. We don't want to push this conversation. I don't think. Plus, it's not really our place to say anything. Oh, a ghost. Ah, we haven't got Logan. Oh, flashback. <laughs> it's very, very crazy 10 seconds there. Ooh. Oh. You have called okay. and I have answered. But I feel no creative desire within your soul. Inspiration will not help you. Okay, I have plenty of inspiration to go around. You misunderstand me, I want to help you. I know who you are and what you really want. Somehow I strongly doubt that. I am several thousands of years old. Now what do you want? Uh, me? No, I have something for you. Stick around, you'll find out something only you can give. What do you mean? We, Stay I back. I don't know what we mean. <laughs> Ooh. Was that? Yes. That was Calliope. It could be no one else. Ah. The lady from the poetry club? They sound like different people. I am positive. It was Calliope. The way she used to be. Okay. You have recovered? Good. Let us move forward. So, we talked to Calliope when she was still a muse, which means she must have been a muse until very, very recently. Which, again, probably means the demon was involved in what happened here. We can't talk to this, um, this ghost here. Uh, some big name bands playing here in some of it, for now it's empty. What is that flapping around? A piece of leather is caught on a jagged piece of metal. It flaps uselessly in the wind. An imposing steel sculpture, you can see a piece of leather. Can we... Can we... Get this? Can we... I feel like we might need the piece of leather because it's... It's saying about... About it being a thing. We can also go this way to the entrance of Prospect Park. Uh, oh. Does, does that just lead us back? Don't yeah, you does. think it's time we head home, Junebug? Five more minutes! Five more minutes. I'm starting to wonder whether potentially the demon took the muse's power and gave it to this little girl. That could be a thing, right? I might be entirely wrong on that. Um, by the way, slightly off topic, can we use any of these guys to climb this or anything? Oh, uh, Eli? I can zap it. I'm not sure what that accomplished. Okay, can Mandana get it? Oh, she can. Okay. Why couldn't we climb that? So, oh, there's two things. A thin metal stick that you took from the metal sculpture. Uh, and there's also a scrap of leather. Looks like the cover of a book. Click to view. The leather burnt. Quite severely. A.F. Oh, burnt. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, uh, I wonder how that got burnt. There's nothing to do with us. Um, A.F. Do we know anything about A.F.s? What say you? Uh, we can ask a bit more. Do you know anything about this area? You may find it strange. When I think of this neighborhood, I am reminded of cows. <laughs> I'm guessing there were cows here a long time ago. Yes, cows. And sheep and horses. This area was pasture long ago. Hundreds of acres of it. 
A dangerous place for a young girl to run and play. My father forbade me to come here. So naturally, I came whenever I could. Then, of course, the war happened. Uh, a war happened? Which war? The Revolutionary War. This area was home to the bloodiest battle of them all. Gunpowder smoke from cannons and muskets filled the air. Trenches crisscrossed the land. History says the American forces were driven off, but they do not mention the cows. <laughs> I miss them terribly. A bloody battle happened here, but you were concerned about the cows? Well, someone had to be. Yeah, cows are Apologies. cool. Apologies. I am aware of how cold that sounds. <laughs> Back then, I was very young, still unsure of my place in the world. I spent most of my time alone, and my childhood playground had become a battleground. So, yes, I was concerned about the cows. Let us speak no more of this. <laughs> okay, fine. Did you know Callie well? That is a difficult question to answer truthfully. I knew her for a time, and we were close for a time. Okay. I remember her being distant and sad and often quite brilliant. I am glad she found happiness. Uh, okay, fine. We'll talk later. Yes, <clears throat> I believe we will. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, slightly off topic, but... Um, How about I take a picture of this to show your dad? No, it's not right yet. Just five more minutes. Okay, five more okay, minutes. Okay, for real this time. Five more minutes, fine. Um, yeah, if you are enjoying this game, then you should probably pay attention to the I, next... I'm sorry about collage. For what it's worth, I miss him too. I will get the sentence out soon. <laughs> he died as he lived, defending this city. Come on, he was your father. It's okay to mourn him. I have shed enough tears. I will finish what he started. Well, I've got your back. You know that. I know it. And I am grateful for it. So these guys are sort of a couple, aren't they? We figured that out in the last one. Um, as I was saying, if you are enjoying this game, then you're probably going to want to check out the next two episodes of the Point and Click Adventurers podcast that I co-host because we've got uh, Sally Beaumont coming on who is working on Old Skies um, which is Wadget Eye Games next project which is coming out hopefully this year um, doing some voice acting and some other stuff on there and then that one will actually be out by the time this episode goes live so you'll be able to go and watch that straight after this if you want to or listen to it on Spotify also we're going to have Dave Gilbert of Wadget Eye Games on as well so um, that'll be in I believe the episode after Sally's episode so if you want to hear more from Dave who actually made this game and the Blackwell games and you know he's obviously working on Old Skies at the moment well worth checking out I think um, also if you, if you don't want to don't you know that's that's cool as well but just drawing your attention to to that if it sounds like something you'd, you'd be interested in um, the psychedelic mural is so colorful you're almost going cross-eyed by looking at it there is uh, Roy Roy Bakery Roy Roy G Bakery <laughs> Not sure, not sure how to say that actually um and there is an old man sitting under an awning which we can who we can talk to as well so i guess let's head into the bakery first if we can yes got we can. some wet ones here chipman Ooh. Huh? oh hey welcome and stuff yeah cheers Jesus, and stuff. chipman wasn't for me you wouldn't sell anything <laughs> customer service not a strong point no um we've got a police officer here this place looks great i've got to say i love the colors and everything in here uh what are you here for donuts and coffee Potentially. Evening, folks. Because we all know that all cops just eat donuts and coffee all day, right? Um, did anyone die by the Prospect Park Amphitheatre? Seriously, where have you been? I don't know. Some idiot set himself on fire, built some weird metal altar to do it on, too. Ah. The weird thing? He did it in the middle of the night. No witnesses. Some poor jogger found him the next morning. Uh, that's awful. It must have had the folks around here spooked. Spooked? You don't know this neighborhood. No, they're fascinated. He's like some kind of local folk hero now. Folk hero? Yeah, the folks who live here, they think it's some kind of, I don't know, artistic statement or whatever. But you ask me, he was just a nut. Uh, can you tell me anything else about the man who died in the park? Sorry, but why are you so interested? It's important. Just the way you told the story, it made me interested in learning more. Hmm. You really think so? Thanks. That means a lot. You're welcome. Still can't tell you anything, though. My captain would kill me if I blabbed the civs. We're not normal civs. 
How is it an artistic statement? I don't know. What else could it be? This friggin' neighborhood draws them in like flies and honey. Draws okay. what? Hey, artists. They've been coming out of the woodwork, causing all sorts of trouble. Interesting. Get the drug dealers. It's the artists you gotta worry about. That's very interesting. Are artists really that bad? So they're almost like drawn here, maybe because of the creative powers from the muse? <laughs> you have no idea. Just last week, in this very spot, I had to drag some guy out in cuffs. It was this writer on his laptop. His battery ran out of juice, so he freaked. Smashed his laptop against the table, then started punching people. Wow. I wish I could say it was an isolated incident, but it's been happening all over the neighborhood. That's interesting. You seem to really like those bagels. Best in the city. Try them. Seriously. Shipments and artist. A real one. Rainbows or no rainbows. Not that anyone would know it. The guy knows nothing about promoting himself. <laughs> Maybe he just really likes making bagels and running a shop, but he's not bothered about turning a profit, I don't know. We found this piece of leather on the sculpture. And? Uh, we thought maybe you could use it? Could be a clue. First of all, it's not my case. And second, I'm not in the habit of accepting evidence from strangers. Alright, So, fine. you know, thanks, but no thanks. He doesn't seem massively keen on doing his job, does he? Stay dry out there. Uh, we'll try to, but it seems to have been raining for the entire game, so who knows. Right, uh, we've got the baker here as well that we can talk to, but we are going to do that in the next one because we're actually out of time for this one. But interesting that there's all this artistic creative stuff going on here, right after the demon seemed to interact with the muse who is no longer a muse. Coincidence? I don't think so. Uh, so, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons are Kaylee's Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Kumadin, and I'll see you next time.